Uh, this is how I make the switch mechanism for my doorbell. So you got a very cheap um, sweet, uh, wireless doorbell for eBay, it's about three pounds. So when this button's pressed, uh, this will start ringing. It has a range of about 100 meters. So let me try it out. There's a small LED here. Also, there's potential for a small LED here, but it just hasn't been soldered in when you buy it. So I could solder an LED in there. And um, yeah, this is very small LED. Now, if we take this apart, because I want to use the circuitry inside the Raspberry Pi to detect when the buttons we press, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to analyze radio waveforms to determine when the buttons pressed. I'm going to just use this circuitry because it's very cheap and well, well and it's quite easy to work with. So if we take this apart, it uses two AA batteries. And that's three volts, so then, and the Pi can supply three volts straight away. So we can get rid of the batteries on the back. Let's use the circuitry. The circuitry is very small. So we can, yeah, these, these two pins can go straight to the GPIO, these I.O. pins, to three, three volts in the ground. So this is tiny circuitry. Have you seen how small the speaker is? The speaker is very quiet. I'm looking into getting an amplified speaker for the Raspberry Pi, so you put USB and amplify the sound. Uh, so, you, so you get a nice speaker output. Anyway, and here's the LED. So what we can do is take the, so the LED is connected to the, um, straight to the speaker. So these this wire here, it's two wires going in parallel, one to the speaker, two, well, two to the speaker, and two to the uh, LED. So you see when it was pressed, uh, it, the, the wave going into the speaker is actually going to the LED, which is why you see the LED blinking. So turn it on. This is why you see the TV blinking. So I can take I can take the input um, here. I can take the, these two. One's ground, one's one's live, one's power. Hi. I can take these two and put them straight to the LED, uh, to the um, I/O port. And when I can I can make a detect. So whenever this I/O um, is high. For example, that means the button's been pressed, uh, and we can trigger the program. So that way, when this button's pressed, it's not working anymore. Something's disconnected. So whenever this button's pressed, uh, the Raspberry Pi can detect where when it's been pressed. I don't need to do any filtering. I don't need to check waveforms. All for three pounds, and it's as simple as that. This these batteries can go. It goes straight into there. This uh, speaker can go. I can put a the headphone out here. Um, put some headphones or some power speakers and make it very loud or we'll use some old speakers like, like these quite old but quite big I think they'll easily be able to handle with, with one of those uh, one pound uh, amplifiers from eBay